Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will look into ICD, which is known as Implantable Cardioverter Defibrillator. We have covered this device in our defibrillator series video. I recommend that you guys check out that video for more information on defibrillators. Let's start the video by looking into the history of ICDs. Michael Mirowski is known for the initial development and being the inventor of the first ICD device. In 1968, Murawski was recruited to the Sinai Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland, where he became the director of the hospital's new coronary care unit and was given projected time for research. There, he teamed up with Morton Mower, a junior cardiologist on staff with extensive animal research experience, to begin work on an ICD in July 1969. Only a month later, they successfully tested their first crude prototype, made from a broken external defibrillator paddle, on a dog. Murawski and Mower faced significant funding hurdles as there was a lot of skepticism in the cardiology community toward the concept of an ICD. The researchers eventually gained support from a pacemaker company in 1970. So what is an ICD, or implantable cardioverter defibrillator? Compared to pacemaker ICD, on the other hand, is implanted to treat causes of tachycardia or fast heart rate. An ICD monitors the heart, and if it detects a fast rhythm, it sends out a low to high voltage electrical signal to restore a normal heartbeat. An ICD is therefore very useful for all cases of ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia. ICDs are very similar in construction to the pacemaker as described earlier. The ICD contains the electronic circuitry inside a titanium can. It is connected to the wires or leads through a plastic connector or header. The leads are passed through a vein to the right chambers of the heart. The lead is usually anchored in the apex of the right ventricle. Just like pacemakers, ICDs can be made to stimulate just the right ventricle, single lead, the right atrium, and right ventricle, two leads, or have three leads to stimulate the right atrium, right ventricle, and another lead present on the walls of the left ventricle. ICDs, however, can stimulate the heart at a much higher voltage as compared to a pacemaker. The maximum voltage an ICD can achieve is 800 volts as opposed to 8 volts in a pacemaker system. The implementation technique for an ICD is similar to the implementation technique for a pacemaker. A newer development in the field of ICDs is the use of a subcutaneous device, SICD. In the SICD, the leads are inserted subcutaneously, obviating the need for their insertion through the veins and into the heart. Let's look at the construction of an ICD. An implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, is a combination electrical stimulator and analog instrument with defibrillator tachycardia and pacemaker bradycardia functionality. Like the pacemaker, an ICD has four components. The pulse generator, leads, programmer, and remote monitor. Electrograms are sensed with appropriate defibrillator or pacemaker therapy administered as needed. Two defibrillator leads are implanted in the right ventricle. Up to three pacemaker leads are implanted in the right atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. An optional accelerometer detects motion that may cause the heart rate to be adjusted during physical activity. Other optional sensors may detect minute ventilation, the presence of thoracic fluid, or pressure. Let's look into the components of an ICD. The ICD mainly consists of an outer layer of the generator, complex circuitry, a high-capacity battery, the wires with electrodes, and the capacitor. The first component is the outer layer of the generator. It is made of titanium and other metals, with complex circuitry and a high-capacity battery inside. The wires have inner conductors with outer silicone and polyurethane insulation. The tips of the leads are usually coated with platinum or another similar metal. The second component is complex circuitry. The ICD circuitry determines how and when both bradycardia pacing and anti-tachycardia therapies are delivered. This facilitates a wide range of programming options so that each device can be tailored to function in a manner most appropriate for each individual. The ICD capacitor is a critical electrical element allowing for defibrillation. Capacitors perform this task by first storing energy charges that can then be released in a path across the heart, defibrillation cardioversion. The third component is the battery. 
Each ICD has a battery whose lifetime is dependent on how much pacing and defibrillating the device is called upon to perform. Typical longevities fall between about 4 to 7 years. The lithium iodine battery has been the dominant power source for implantable cardiac pacemakers, which typically have peak power demands on the order of 100 to 200 watts. Under these conditions, the lithium iodine battery can maintain an adequate voltage even when its internal resistance reaches several thousand ohms. On the other hand, an implantable cardiac defibrillator may have peak power requirements approximately 10,000 times greater than those of a pacemaker. Under such a high power demand, the voltage of a lithium iodine battery would drop to almost zero, and the power delivered to the device would be almost nil. The fourth component are the leads. The electrodes are wires, also called leads that go through your veins to your heart. They connect your heart to the rest of the device. Your ICD may have one, two, or three electrodes. The fifth component is the capacitor. The high current pacing pulse delivered by the ICD is from a capacitor that is recharged between pacing pulses by converting the low voltage energy delivered by the battery into high voltage energy. A special aluminum electrolytic capacitor set is charged in order to serve as the high voltage energy reservoir for defibrillation therapy. This capacitor set, which is not present in a conventional pacemaker, adds approximately 8 cc's of volume to the device. A special DC to DC converter takes the low voltage high current input from the battery and converts it to a high voltage low current source that charges the high voltage capacitor set. This was a simplified video on ICDs. I really hoped you liked this video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.